fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm excited today to bring you a finish. As you can probably tell from the cover sheets here, I made my own release papers. I just went out and found some clip art on the internet and made some release papers for myself for my Jetsons kit. So I'm finished with it. I'm super excited to show it to you. So let me just talk about a couple of things first. It only took me a couple of days to finish this one. It is 45 by 33. It's a square kit, as you can see. And it came with two fairy dust drills and two ABs. So I will say that it had quite a bit of trash that I wasn't expecting for as small as a kit as it is. There were lots of drills that had weird little black spots on them, some that had some holes. This light blue and this blue 996 here seem to be the ones that had the worst. That There wasn't very much black, so there's not a lot of black. And you can see quite a bit of white and yellow in here. So not a ton of trash, but more than I expected for the size of kit that it is. I had 50 colors. And we had, like I said, two fairy dust drills. We had this yellow and this kind of gray. And I actually really like how these worked on the kit. They both end up, that mica sheen ends up looking kind of metallic. So where they get used in the kit works really well. And then there were two ABs, mostly for Rosie's eyes and then Jane and Judy's clothing was where those two went. But I had plenty of drills to finish everything. I didn't run out of any colors. Some colors I had quite a bit left over. So plenty of drills to finish everything. All right, and let's look at the kit. Ta-da! I actually really love how this turned out. It only took me a couple of days to finish. You can see here there's pixie dust drills or fairy dust drills in the edges of the spaceship here. So it just gives it, like I said, that kind of metallic sheen. And then the gray fairy dust got used in the buildings. So it just kind of gave it that little space age look. And then you can see here there's ABs in Rosie's eyes. There's some on Jane's clothing, some on Judy's clothing, but I think it turned out super cute. I still wish Astro would have been in it, but I guess it is what it is. Maybe like I said, They'll do at some point little individual ones like they did with Scooby-Doo and some of the other ones, and then we'll get an Astro. It was a lot of blue, not gonna lie. A lot of very light blue down here, then kind of this greenish blue, sky blue, and then a couple of darker blues up here. All the green, I started out at the bottom, so I did a lot of this kind of blocky multi-placing and everything. I mean, there's quite a bit of confetti as well where the colors mix, but I did all of the background first and I saved doing the people for last because I knew that was going to be my favorite part. I just realized I forgot to go over this with my rolling pin to make sure all my drills are seated really well, so I need to do that. But I did get some pictures of it, got some B-roll of it. It's nice and shiny, nice and sparkly, and I'm super happy with how it turned out. It only took me about 12 hours to do it, so not a ton of time. and. I just think it's adorable. I think Elroy and Astro are my favorite, so I saved him for last. I started with George. I think they did a really good job picking all the colors. I do think because it's a square kit, the stilts here for all the buildings are a bit weird because they're kind of jagged, but it is what it is for a square kit. I do think the buildings themselves look pretty cool. I think the spaceship turned out nicely. And I keep saying spaceship. I guess it's not really a spaceship. It's a flying car. So they're not really in space. They're just in the air. But you've got all of their little Jane's collar here and George's little three black lines on his shirt. Rosie with her little antenna. Judy with her big hair bow. And of course, Elroy with his little cap. I just think it turned out super cute and I couldn't be happier with it. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to count this for DP for Pets because it was going to have Astro in it, but no such luck. So I am definitely crossing my fingers that maybe they'll do individual ones because I think those would be cute as well. I don't know if this is one that I'll be framing or not. It's cute, but I don't know if I have a place to hang the Jetsons in my house. 
I don't currently, and I don't know what kind of space we're going to have at the new place. So I don't think I'll probably be framing it, but I got a lot of enjoyment out of it. Like I said, it only took me about 12 hours, so just a couple of days worth of work. Probably that quick because there was some nice color blocking sections. Pretty confetti heavy where the people were, obviously, but everything else, even this, the flying car was not that confetti heavy. And you can see the, like I said, the fairy dust drills that kind of give it that metallic sheen. I kind of wish maybe there had also been some up here just to kind of give the bubble that kind of sheen as well. But I, bubbles are hard to do in any artistic medium, I understand. So, but I'm super happy with it. Did any of you guys get this kit? And what do you think of it? It's pretty small, I gotta admit. It's, it's, I mean, it's not tiny. 45 by 33 is not tiny, but it is much smaller than I was expecting it to be. I was expecting it to be more in the 50 by 60 range or at least 40 by 50, so quite a bit smaller. So when they do that, of course, you're gonna lose some of the detail. So it does look a little bit pixelated when you're up close, but I think it turned out really well. I did try to be a lot more careful in my drill placement with this one than I usually am. I don't know if it shows or not. I, I think squares are just, especially down here, there's some gapping I'm not really happy with, but when it's this light of a color, I mean, this light blue might as well be white. And then there's quite a bit of white. Actually, weirdly, I think a lot of the white was less gappy than this light blue here. And this blue color right here, which I think is 996, like I said, just ended up having a lot more trash than anything else. So had plenty of drills to finish everything. That wasn't a concern, but I just, not my favorite thing to do to spend all my time picking out trash drills. And I just realized I missed one right there. You guys, okay, let me, let me fix that. That's too funny. My eyesight must be going because I went over everything, backlit it to make sure that I hadn't missed any drills before I started filming. And then I realized I'd missed one. So always something with me, right? <laughs> so I did take some B-roll. I'll probably reshoot it now that I know I was missing a drill, but take some B-roll so you can see it up close. I mean, it's Diamond Art Club, so of course it's gonna be nice and sparkly. I don't know how well sometimes that translates on camera. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It was a nice quick finish for me, and now I get to add some more hours to my June totals and now that this one is done, I'm free to concentrate on some other things. So I may not have my actual flying car that folds into a briefcase, but at least I have a diamond painting of a flying car that folds into a briefcase. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think this was a good size for it? Does it work? Is it a little bit too pixelated? Do you think it should have been a little bit bigger? I was actually also surprised that it was squares instead of rounds. Not that it mattered to me one way or the other. I was going to get the kit either way. I was just surprised. I don't know why. I don't know why I thought it was going to be rounds, but I did. Anyway, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If they do any like single pieces where like they do just Judy, just Astro, would you be in the market for one of those? So there is the finish of the Jetsons. That's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.